Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Jamel from Honestense coming back again. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a fragrance review on the house of Nishane and it's going to be called Ani. And by the way, please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Please do me that favor that as I'm going to be doing more fragrance review in, in the future as well. Um, I'm going to be talking about doing a review on Nishane Annie. This fragrance actually came out in um, 2019, and uh, the top notes um, to this fragrance is ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, and green notes. Um, in the middle is cardamom, blackcurrant, and Turkish rose. And the base is vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, cedar, patchouli, and ambergris and musk. Nishane Annie is actually a unisex fragrance. It's an extra deep parfum. This is a 50 ml bottle. I think the bottles is excellent. I like the way the cap looks. The spray on this is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna spray this fragrance again because I actually sprayed this fragrance just before I did this review. I have not wore this fragrance, you know, in a couple of months. Um, I wore this fragrance only about like five times. And um, I actually purchased this fragrance in December of 2020. I know it came out in 2019, so I am late. I am late to, to do a review, and I am late to purchase this fragrance. Um, this fragrance was hype, and um, it was very hype. And let me tell you, I think that this fragrance definitely worth the hype. A lot of fragrance in a, a YouTube community that be hyping a fragrance does not deserve to be hype, in my opinion. I think my money is... Um, you know, I need my money. So I'm not going to go out there and just buy every fragrance that's get hype. And I'm not hyping this fragrance up. Um, I'm just, this fragrance, this, this, this fragrance definitely did blow me away. I'm not going out there and tell you to go buy the fragrance. But I'm telling you, try to get your nose on it and get a sample. I don't think this fragrance will be for everybody because it, um, it's basically built on vanilla and some people really don't really like vanilla like that. But the thing is, this point with this fragrance, maybe you may like this fragrance, even though it's built on vanilla. But um, it definitely has some other notes that make this fragrance um, a little bit more complex, um, a little bit different from a lot of other vanilla fragrances. So um, when I first initial spray Nishan A. Annie, I'm getting the bergamot. Um, think of a house with a, a foundation. That is the vanilla that's in Nishane Annie. But I'm also going to get um, this fragrance definitely has a little freshness to it. And you think it's going to be spicy, but no, um, it's coming from that ginger. This ginger would definitely just, just make this fragrance fresh. So if you look at YS, let's say if you, for instance, let's say you had like a YSL, um, Y, and when you get that little grapefruit and ginger, and you know that ginger would make that fragrance fresh along with, because it got that ginger in there. So it's not coming off spicy, it just come off fresh and crisp. But that's what this fragrance, um, that's what the ginger does in this fragrance along with that vanilla. And you definitely get a little bit of citrus, the sweetness, not just it's coming from the vanilla, but it's mostly coming from that bergamot. And the bergamot definitely make this fragrance with a different type of sweetness. And by the way, the vanilla in this fragrance is not like a sweet fragrance. It's not like a sweet, sweet vanilla. It's not bitter either, but it's more like um, it's a very, very expensive vanilla. I, I can't really explain to you. Like, it's more like a, not like a artificial vanilla. It's more like somebody made that, like somebody made the vanilla, um, you know, it just, just made the vanilla and use vanilla extract and everything. That's what this, you know, vanilla that's was in here is that authentic vanilla. It's more like a, like a whipped cream, like, like a whipped cream and shit, like whipped cream. That's what this vanilla is like. It's, it's awesome. Trust me, you... You got to get a sample and smell it for yourself. Um, I paid like $150 for this fragrance. I got to like do it. I got like a tester. 
It didn't come with no box or nothing like that. It just, you know, came with a cap, which is, um, it says Nishane and everything. Come with a bash coat. Um, yeah, so I'm getting this vanilla with this freshness from the ginger, a little bit sweetness from the, the, the bergamot. And this fragrance gets a little bit green, but not overly green, just a little bit of it. Um, and that green, it doesn't last long. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting this cardamom. And that's when this phrase will come up a little bit spicy with that vanilla. But again, the spice is just a little bit. Everything is just a little bit. The main player is that foundation with that vanilla. So everything is going to blend in with the vanilla. So vanilla is the main player with this fragrance. I think you really got to like vanilla. But um, I mean, I think you got to like vanilla, but you don't have to love it. And I think that even if you don't love it, but you like it, I think you may like this one uh, because this fragrance is just uh, is very, very unique. I don't I don't have anything in my fragrance that's smell and nothing like this, let alone the quality that this fragrance has along with that vanilla. Um, this fragrance get a little bit creamy from the sandalwood. Definitely has some little bit of resonance from the benzoin, but... This also make this fragrance a little bit sweet as well, along with that vanilla. Um, but this fragrance never gets syrupy sweet or sickly sweet. Um, the only time I actually wear this fragrance like actually in the winter time. Um, so I don't I don't know. Um, should I wear this in the summertime? And I'm not gonna do that because I know better. That's just me. Uh, my body heats up very, very quickly. Um, I'm definitely getting some black current. Every like again, everything's little small notes, but you definitely pick it up as this fragrance go on and go by. Um, I do not get no Turkish rose. Um, I don't get anything floral or anything rosy with this fragrance, but I am getting some nice clean musk along with this fragrance. The ambergris on this fragrance is like perfectly well done. Like I said, it doesn't stand, doesn't sticks out at all, but everything's built on, just built on that vanilla. This is an excellent, excellent fragrance. Um, it's unisex. Um, I will say, um, on a man, um, it's not gonna smell like masculine, like masculine, masculine, but it's gonna be more masculine than unisex. Um, I actually. Spray this on a woman and it's straight, straight up like a woman. Like um, you'll think this fragrance is just for a woman. But on a man, it actually smells a little bit different. Um, it still smells like the same fragrance, but it just smells a little more masculine on them as well. Um, so that would be due for my review. Um, again, on the seasons, it's fall, fall and winter. Uh, I normally go with two sprays. My projections like three to five hours, sometimes even more of that. The longevity is like 10 to 15 to 20 hours. Um, again, that's just straight off two sprays. Um, I could I could smell this fragrance into like to the next day, even just getting out of the shower, still getting compliments on it. So that's my review for Nisha and Andy. Please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, everybody have a great day, great night, and peace out. Thanks for thanks for watching my video. Jamil Wilk from Honor Sense.